the Border Roads Organization maintains roads that serve the borders areas of India. It is staffed with a combination of Border Roads Engineering Service Officers, Administrative Officers, Medical Officers from the General Reserve Engineer Force and Officers from the Corps of Engineers Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, Army Service Corps, Military Police and Personnel of the Indian Army on Extra Regimental Employment. The organization develops and maintains arterial roads on the borders of India. The BRO is also involved in the construction of a tunnel at the Rohtang Pass. BRO's activities have also helped to accelerate the economic development of the north and northeastern border states of India. The road construction teams have to deal with harsh climatic conditions. The BRO faces environments like the icy Himalayan mountain tops, the marshes of West Bengal, and the deserts in Rajasthan. The BRO builds and maintains roads at high altitude. Some of the BRO roads are built as high as 5,608 meters above mean sea level. The Border Roads Organization operates a network of over 32,885 kilometers of roads and 12,200 meters of permanent bridges. BRO has operations in 22 states, including the Andaman and Nyakabar Islands, a Union territory. It is currently headed by Lieutenant General R. M. Mittal. History the BRO was formed on May 7, 1960 as the Border Roads Development Board with Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru as its chairman. BRO consists of BRDB and GREF and GREF is led by the Director General of Border Roads, who holds the rank of Lieutenant General. He is under Ministry of Defence as per his uniform however as organisational chart he comes under Secretary BRDB a civilian officer to him he never reports. BRO consists of BRDB and GREF personals. BRDB is akin to any other government department headed presently by Ray Arakshal Mantri as chairman of the BRDB and Chief of Army and Air Force and ENC are its members and there are other members as well. BRO being a part and parcel of MOD but it is placed under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways for budgetary allocation only as a matter of high policy otherwise MOD has administrative control over BRO but now it is placed absolutely under Ministry of Defence. Structure The BRO consists of Border Roads Wing and the Ministry of Defence and the General Reserve Engineer Force. Grief a Euro the Execution Force a Euro under the Ministry of Defence Officers from Indian Army Corps of Engineers, who are posted to GREF on ERE the status of GREF is equivalent to that of JAKLI in the Indian Army. The GREF includes civil, electrical, mechanical engineers administrative officers medical officers and Hindi officers. Engineers are selected from engineering colleges across India through the Indian Engineering Services examination conducted by the Union Public Service Commission. Other officers also includes administrative officers, medical officers who are also selected through UPSC and placed under Army Act 1950 and Army Rules 1954 with exceptions and modifications via DSRO 329 and 330 of 1960 and SRO 1001 of 1961 for equivalent ranks of GREF with regular Army. Members of GREF are the members of armed forces within meaning of Article 33 of the Constitution of India as defined by the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Aviswan v South Union of India and the President declared GREF as integral part of armed forces. Members of GREF are entitled to ration at par with regular army and drawing from ASC units located nearest to GREF units. A question arose in respect of Aviswan v South Union of India 1983 where the General Reserve Engineering Forces and Armed Force a Euro the question is whether Sec 21 of the Army Act, 1950, read with Chapter 1V of the Army Rules, 1954 is within scope and ambit of Article 33 of the Constitution and if it is, whether Central Government Notification knows SRO. 329 and 330 dated September 23, 1960 making inter alia Sec 21 of the Army Act, 1950 and Chapter 1V of the Army Rules, 1954 applicable to General Reserve Engineering Force are ultra vias of that article since the General Reserve Engineering Force is neither an armed force nor a force charged with a maintenance of public order. It is a question of some importance since it affects the fundamental rights of large number of persons belonging to the General Reserve Engineering Force and in order to arrive at a correct decision of this question, 
it is necessary first of all to consider the true nature and character of the General Reserve Engineering Force. It is indisputable on the facts and circumstances that the function and duties of GREF are integrally connected with the operation plans and requirement of the armed forces and the members of GREF are integral to the armed forces. There can be no doubt that without the efficient and disciplined operational role of GREF the military operations in border areas during peace as well as in times of war will be seriously hampered and a highly disciplined and efficient GREF is absolutely essential for supporting the operational plans and meeting the operational requirements of the armed forces. It must, therefore be held that the members of GREF answer the description of the members of armed forces within meaning of Art 33 and consequently the application of Sec 21 of the Army Act 1950, to the members of GREF must be held to be protected by that article and the fundamental rights of the members of GREF must be held to be validly restricted by Sec 21 of Army Act 1950 read with Rules 19 to 21 of Army Rules 1954. If that be so, the petitioners were liable to be charged under Sec 63 of the Army Act 1950 for the alleged violation of Rules 19 to 21 of Army Rules 1954 and their convictions by the court martial as also subsequent dismissal must be held to be valid. The organization's operations are spread across India, Bhutan, Myanmar, Tajikistan, and Afghanistan. The fundamental unit of the BRO is similar to a platoon. The functional platoon, composed of civil engineer officers from the GREF and civil engineers from the College of Military Engineering, Kirky Pune, is in charge of activities such as formation cutting, surfacing, and safety mechanisms to maintain correct road geometry. BRO units also handle the construction of permanent and temporary bridges, causeways, and airfields. The BRO includes 18 projects, which are divided into task forces road construction companies, bridge construction companies, drain maintenance companies, and other functional platoons. The organization also includes base workshops, store divisions, training and recruitment centers, and other staff. The BRO is also in charge of maintenance of its road networks. In many places landslides, avalanches and snow block the routes and have to clear it as quickly as possible. BRO also employs the more than 2 lakh local workers in the task. An internal financial advisor supports the BRO, performing the roles of chief accounts officer and internal auditor. This system was introduced on March 23, 1995 to introduce efficiency and improve resource utilization. The IFA secured ISO 9001 certification in December 1999. Equals projects initiatives equals the BRO undertakes projects in India and friendly countries. These projects typically include developing roads, bridges, and airfields in hostile environments shunned by private enterprises, whether due to security concerns related to hostilities, or because of environmental challenges. Some of these projects carry out some of the development initiatives of the Indian government in foreign territories like Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Myanmar, and Bhutan. These include the dealer MZARANJ Highway in Afghanistan, completed and handed over to the Afghan government during 2008, and the restoration of the FARC and ANI air bases in Tajikistan. The BRO also played a vital role in reconstruction work in the aftermath of the devastating 2004 tsunami in Tamil Nadu, the 2005 Kashmir earthquake, and the 2010 Ladakh flash floods. Issues the organization employs laborers locally. No local laborer is deployed in the GREF for more than 179 days at a stretch, thus keeping the nature of their employment casual. See also, Project Hymank, Indian Army Corps of Engineers, Lee Manali Highway. References External links, Official Website, Integrated Financial Aid Visa Euro Border Roads, a Euro Cube de Permail Currency.